My name is Weston Ashley. I'm 27 years old and I'm perpetually single. My name is Joel. I'm 24 and I have a live-in boyfriend. I am as young as you would like for me to be and currently I am single. I'm 36 and I'm married. I'm 37 and I have been in a committed non-monogamous relationship for the past four and a half years. I'm 64 years old and I am single and it's complicated. I would like to get married eventually. I've never really thought about getting married, but I don't think I would like to. It's an outdated perception now, but I used to say that two of the best things about being gay are you don't have to get married, you don't have to join the army. I don't see myself in a marriage because all relationships eventually end. Marriage, it, it could last forever, but if it doesn't, it doesn't mean it's a failure. You have a successful marriage that then ends. Marriage comes along with a lot of baggage and a lot of preconceived notions of what it is and how people are supposed to behave. And that it's not a way that I want to behave in my relationship. I feel weddings are important, but it's about the two people joining as a union. I have a feeling that I'm going to be the one who proposes, but I would love to be proposed too if it were the right person. We were standing underneath a giant disco ball on a dance floor somewhere on Bourbon Street and he popped the question. I know that he wants me to propose at a Kelly Clarkson concert on stage, but I told him I'm not gonna do that. I feel like I'm experienced at getting married at this point. I've had several different types of weddings. This time we're actually married. My mother is obsessed with weddings, so my whole life she's been planning mine and my sister's weddings. She has a wedding ideas folder. My boyfriend and I love to play our fake wedding all the time, and it's usually like totally absurd stuff. Like, at our fake wedding, there's definitely gonna be a slip and slide. I always imagined it being this huge reception with about 700 guests. And I always imagine like the first dance being something out of like Queer as Folk. Our first dance would probably have to be something from the Courtney Love whole oeuvre. Is there a song that goes on the theme of, can you believe this is really happening? Maybe Natalie calls this would be an everlasting love. There are these questions about who's gonna propose, who's gonna pay, who's gonna walk whom down the aisle. And I think that as we're seeing a lot more gender equality and a lot of different kinds of marriages and arrangements, we're gonna see a lot of different wedding ceremonies. Anything that we're doing in the gay community has been done in the heterosexual community. It's just sometimes people aren't aware of it. Gay couples shouldn't feel they have to do anything. Marriage was already changing anyway. You know, there's still house husbands and women can be in the workplace and you can adopt kids or have a carrier. You can have as many daddies or mommies in a, in a marriage as you want.